another uh, wacky handheld here. Uh, the question invariably and uh, not unexpectedly comes up of this, this sort of trapezoid that I'm drawing to represent this rectangle in perspective. How do I know sort of how how tall to make it? How do I know how much to angle the sides? Um, and, ooh, I've been waiting to say this. <laughs> the answer is that it all depends on your perspective, oddly enough. Um, and by that, what I mean is, obviously, um, if, well, maybe not obviously, but if I move closer to this object, but I sort of try to stay at the same kind of height, you'll see um, the sides becoming more um, steeper, more sharp in their angling appear to be. Um, it's hard to sort of to, to do it specifically just from this, but I'll do a couple of, I'll say a couple other things. If the lower down I get and the closer I am to just looking at something in, from the from the edge, from the end, so not looking down on it, the shorter sort of the uh, that trapezoid will be and the sides will sort of take up less room and be less angled at a certain distance, but as you start moving closer, everything becomes more pronounced. There's just greater uh, greater effects of perspective occurring. So now the uh, the angles are much steeper. If I go pretty far away and try to zoom in. <laughs> After you go throw up from um, seasickness, motion sickness, you can come back and look at it again. But further away, the angles will be less pronounced because the further we get, the, the decrease in the impacts of perspective. And even if I'm, I'm further but zoomed in, hopefully you realize that. And even if I sort of go higher and I'm looking down a little bit more, it's a lot. It's a lot higher now of it, a trapezoid, a lot taller. Anyways, I'm getting tired of that of that shaky angle. Let me see. I'm gonna come back. Ah. So it's interesting. I, I, I feel like I, when I'm sort of defaulting to drawing a trapezoid, it's something kind of like that. It might be a little bit more. I do like having fun with exaggerating the, the effects of perspective. So hopefully that will answer a couple questions. I'll, I'm going to do a demonstration with a non-handheld video recording device um, in just a minute.